what I find is uh, just say for instance, I'll try to size up the area that I started in. You know, say say for instance, you're on the St. John's and you catch them up on a seawall first thing in the morning, and that shad spawn's going good. You sack up, you know, four good ones. Sun gets up. What do you do now? Well, oftentimes those shad just move out extremely deep off of that same piece of structure. So if, if you have a main lake point or a shell bed that goes out all the way to the river channel, those fish come out there really fast, a lot faster than we think. So I want to get out there with the hummingbird and it's, it's, it's really easy to find them this time of year. It's not like this time of year where you're looking for, you know, a, a school might be three or four fish. Those post-spawn schools are big schools and you can use your electronics. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to fish unless I'm seeing them. Um, once I find them, it's, it's not about catching them on a jig or a worm or anything like that. You know, it, it's, it's deep cranking. That time of year, it seems like it's just that or a swim bait. Again, something that imitates a shad. And one of my favorite baits to pick up that time of year. And, and, and of course, this is all going to depend on depth. This is a Strike King 6XD. I uh, also use the 10XD, um, just depending on depth. Like this bait right here, it's going to dive 17 to 18 feet on 15 pound line. Your 10XD is going to be a 26, 20, 28 foot diver. And then the 6XD, smaller brother, the 5XD, that's going to be a 12 to 14 foot diver on 15 pound line on a long cast. So just depending on where I'm seeing the fish, I'll choose a bait that dives at least that deep. You know, I want that bait to come through the school, hit the bottom, just like we talked about on that square bill, get that reaction strike. So. Any questions so far? We've talked about baits and kind of the basic shad pond pattern. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your favorite color for the 2.5? Favorite, favorite color for the 2.5? Um, you know, I, I keep it fairly simple. I brought a couple of my favorite colors. This is a new color from Strike King. It's called Tennessee Shad 2.0, and it's probably the closest imitator to like a gizzard shad or a thread fin shad, either one as far as color goes. Um, I've caught them in muddy water, and I've caught them on, in clear water, but I always have a contrasting bait tied on. So if I know I'm gonna be on a square bill pattern, I'll keep a shad pattern, and this is my favorite one, and I'll keep a chartreuse in blue or a chartreuse in black. And even though those fish are targeting shad, there's days when you just, you're not hooking them good, you're getting fish to swipe at a shad pattern, you switch to a chartreuse, and it's game on. So those are probably, this and the chartreuse in blue back, and the Tennessee Shad 2.0, those are my favorite colors on the 2.5, 1.5, and even my deep divers. You can't go wrong with those. You know, there's a, there's a lot of other colors that'll catch them, but when I come to a new lake, you know, we get a few days of practice, I gotta break it down pretty quick. I know I can go to those colors and start getting bit, but that's a great question. Bash you, folks. Information is pouring over. If you wanna learn more about every lake, how to fish shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.